Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ellie Snake Lady and today I have little Apollonia with me. I say little, she's big now, but... Uh... So in today's video, I want to talk about another snake um, or another uh, species of snake that does really interest me. So as you know, in the past, I've done um, I've done videos on bush vipers and I've even spoken about Titan boa. But today I'm going to be talking about the Barbados thread snake. I'm just going to be giving you some uh, information about the Barbados thread snake, you know, description, diet, um, you know, conservation, etc. etc. So as per usual, I do have notes because I can never remember everything because my brain is terrible. So uh, yes. So the Barbados thread snake is obviously a part of the thread snake family and it is mainly found in uh, Barbados, mainly eastern uh, Barbados but uh, apparently they've also been found in Anguilla as well. So the Barbados thread snake was first identified back in 2008 by S. Blair Hedges, a herpetologist from Pennsylvania State University. Hedges named the new species of snake in honour of his wife, Carla Anna Haas, a herpetologist who was part of the discovery team. Specimens already existed in reference collections in the London Natural History Museum and in a museum in California, but they had been incorrectly identified to belong to another species. So the Barbados thread snake was described as a snake species with the smallest adults in the world. The first scientific specimens taken by the research team were found under rocks in a forest. The snake is thought to be near the lower size limit of snakes as young snakes need to attain a certain minimum size to find suitable food. Description. I'm going to put up a picture of uh, the difference between um, your sort of regular larger snakes and their like hatchlings and the Barbados thread snake adult with its hatchling. The size of mother to offspring of large species of snake on the left compared to small species such as the Barbados thread snake which is on the right. The average total length including the tail of the adults is approximately 10 centimeters which is 3.94 inches with the largest specimen found to date measuring 10.4 centimeters which is 4.9 inches in total length the snake is said by hedges to be about as wide as a spaghetti noodle which is uh, quite thin as you can imagine and also this photo here that I'm going to put up shows you uh, the size of the adult thread snake on a quarter dollar coin. So the Barbados thread snake is known to weigh about 0.6 grams. So uh, yeah, that is extremely light. And uh, yeah, I will be putting up some more pictures and you can see people holding these Barbados thread snakes. And they're just so, so tiny. So you can kind of gauge how small they are, as I say. So the diet of the Barbados thread snake is generally ant larvae and termites. So as you can imagine, they are very small creatures that have to try and find you know the sort of smallest prey you know prey size of food that probably doesn't make sense but you know what I mean because obviously normally most big snakes will eat rodents and birds and things like that but uh, these tiny snakes they will be finding the smallest of the small food that they can and as I say ant larvae and termites you know is the best thing I think for them so the Barbados thread snake is an egg laying snake so obviously it doesn't give birth to live young and they will just lay one a big egg you know big in comparison to them and uh, so when the hatchling is actually born it's half the size of the mother already compared to larger snakes where the hatchlings are a tenth of the size of the adult snakes so um yeah that really fascinated me i had no idea they just laid one egg and that was it but uh, yeah it's crazy because i just imagine like with these guys they lay quite a few eggs and you know that's that that's all i've ever really known with snakes but i had no idea that the barbados thread snake just laid the one 
egg and uh, yeah so that's that's really something new that I've learned and as I say every day is a school day. <laughs> so the conservation status of the Barbados thread snake is actually it's classed under the critically endangered IUCN red list so um, yeah it is critically endangered um, and that's mainly because these snakes are generally found in rainforests and rainforests are actually starting well they're they're kind of depleting over time you know just due to human activity yet again so um, yeah so basically the Barbados thread snake uh, has been found in forests and it will actually uh, burrow it's a burrowing snake as well well I mean most snakes are burrowing snakes but this one specifically will burrow and as I say it will then you know go and find its food like with ant larvae and termites and things like that they live sort of you know underground as it were um or in logs you know things like that so um yeah they are critically endangered and as i say it's always down to human activity with the depletion of rainforests and it's really sad because you just think once all the rainforests are gone you know what are they going to do you know these little snakes for example what's going to you know happen to them so yeah that is why they're on the critically endangered list and uh, yeah i think that was something i didn't mention before is that um they've been found as i say threads these thread snakes have been found in forests and things so um yeah but i'm you know touch wood hopefully you know us humans will learn not to be destroying other animals habitats for their homes and things but uh I don't know. I know it's it's a bit of a sore subject with me. You know, I, I do wish people would look after the planet a bit more and respect animals more, but uh, you know, humans are arrogant, unfortunately. So anyway, I'm gonna get off my soapbox and just wrap this video up. Otherwise, I'm just gonna keep blathering on. <laughs> yeah, so that's the Barbados thread snake. It's just a little bit of information. You can go and do your own research if you wish. Um, as I say, this is just like a little quick video uh, touching on this little species and they are so tiny. I mean, I'd love to hold one, but I don't know how fast they are because obviously like little snakes are quite fast. Um, so I'm just curious to know whether it's kind of a little crazy wriggly bit of spaghetti or whether it'll sort of chill in my hand, you know, like in the heat and stuff. So uh, anyway, <laughs> so I'm hoping that you have enjoyed this video and if you have, then please like and subscribe. And when you do subscribe, please hit that bell notification and click all so you get notifications for my latest videos. And if you've got any comments or questions or anything like that, then just pop them in the comments section below and I'll do my best to answer. But for now, from myself and little Apollonia, hang on a minute, there we go. <laughs> so from myself and Apollonia it is goodbye and we'll see you in my next video thanks very much for watching <laughs> this girl's crazy just look at the camera <laughs>